everybody, Brooks from Electron here, and today I want to help answer the question of should I upgrade to the 38 Billotron when I already have the 38H series? So this is going to be a purely rider feedback video. If you want a more technical explanation of what all we've done in this carburetor, we'll have a video for that as well. So what can you expect if you take your bike that has a 38H series on it and you put the 38 Billotron on it? So immediately what you're going to notice is the bike revs faster it responds faster and it settles down to idle way better. Once you actually click it into gear and you get going, this has a lot more bottom end power to it. We have been continually updating our product lines to help improve bottom end hit. The 38H series was a big upgrade compared to the old 38 high velocity carburetor and even better compared to the old 38 millimeter standard carburetors and the 36 millimeter carburetors. So you take that and here you've got the next level. You can also fine tune the top end a lot easier because you have the power jet adjuster on the side of the carburetor. So if you're trying to get absolute max power out of your bike, this is a lot easier, especially based off rider feedback. A lot of people never tune their power jets on their 38 series carburetors, and we send the carburetors out a little bit on the rich side. So with this, you can actually get feedback, make very small changes, and figure out where the bike performs the best. So if you're giving up horsepower on a jetted carburetor when the weather changes, by just not adjusting this carburetor at all to your exact bike specs um, and you want to get the best out of it, this will be the easiest setup for you hands down. Part of what we did with this was instead of having to price in intake flanges, throttles, cables, all that stuff and coming out to almost $600 with this on some kits, um, we put the time and effort into building a better product for about the same price point when it's all said and done. Compared to the YZs, this is a little bit more expensive unit but you get a lot better value as well. It's a lot higher end product, a lot more precise, a lot more user friendly, has all the updates that our customers asked for. And uh, we think it's, a, it's just a night and day improvement over the 38H series. The choke is a lot more accessible now. The bike idles a lot better now. It responds better now. It has a lot more bottom end hit to it. Um, it over revs really, really well, even better than the 38H series did. And, um, it's a lot more consistent product. So I hope that helps answer a lot of your questions. If you have any more, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll try to go back and answer those for you guys.